What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and I'm bringing you Zomborg today. Zomborg is a top-down shooter where it is you against hordes of zombies. I know, something new for a change. Um, but it actually looked pretty charming from the uh, screenshots on Steam and seeing as it was only about four or five dollars, I thought I'd give it a shot and see what we've got. So there's actually real options in this one, which is nice. Not the typical little Unity pop-up window where it lets you tweak a couple things and then that's it, you're done. Uh, so this is the first time that I'm playing it. Um, turn everything on here. And then audio's got a couple tweaks. And as far as controls, it looks like, can you change them? So it looks like they may be adding that in later on. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I can't actually change anything right now, but uh, but that's okay. I don't know what training is. Um, I'm going to just go to new game, though. We'll just jump in and see what this game has to offer. As always, I kind of skip the story content. If you're interested in um, a game, I want you to be able to experience the story yourself. And there's quite a few options here on display. We're going to go with our gas mask there. Two kinds of scarves. I'm liking that. So it's got some fun, fun options here. And I'll probably just go with the legs that they gave me. Yeah, I will. And that looks good. All right, so we've got our customized character here. And we can choose a buddy to go with us, which is nice. And I'm going to go with a heavy backup support character. Ass rifle, really, guys? Assault rifle. Ass rifle, okay. Submachine gun, shotgun, light machine gun, battle rifle, heavy, RPG, semi-auto sniper, sniper. Okay, and we have 3,000 in funds, but I'm just going to go with... Let me see something here. Sure, yeah, let's unlock this. And for my secondary... Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go with a shotgun. Okay, I'll skip the uh, little intro text there. <clears throat> and let's see what this game has to offer. Hopefully it's not as disappointing as Crimson Earth 2, which I did yesterday. Find research evidence and find and burn 15 copies. I'm greeted with some money right away. Now I don't see my partner at all. I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. And if I hold the right mouse button, my character turns. And then I can catch up with the with just once I let go. Um It's an interesting mechanic. I'm not sure. Okay, so grenade, got it. Are these barrels explosive? No. <clears throat> And I'm going to take a look at the controls again real quick. So we've got movement, crouch is shift L, fire, rotate camera, zoom, reload, aim. Aim. Interesting. All right, flashlight swap weapons is X. Man, there's no way for me to change that, huh? Minimap is M. Buddy controls, shoot to point. Shoot to where I'm pointing. Got it. Okay, move to point, hold position. I don't see my buddy yet, so let's check it. Control says it aims. Let's take a look at that. And crouch is shift L. Okay. And control. Um I don't fully understand that, but whatever. Let's move forward for right now. There's my mini map. Looks like my objectives are this way. fairly long reload animation and uh, uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing that may add to some of the tension and the tactics of the game and a reload in real life is usually quicker than the 1.2 seconds that they are in video games but this actually may be uh... oh now my sound just went out for a second there
Yeah, I'm, my sound keeps cutting out. Wow, these guys just keep coming out of here. I, I've got to burn these corpses. Um, so, yeah, the sound cutting out is, is kind of annoying. Um, it's, it's pretty immersion breaking. I know this is just a simple top-down game, but nevertheless, when your gunfire cuts out, that's... It's no bueno. Alright, let me reload this. Uh, the maps are nice enough. So far. Switched over to the shotgun. I am personally not a fan of the button placement. Like, they could have bound um, the weapon switching to the numerical... Um, numerical keys at the top of the keyboard. But instead they opted to... Okay, that's weird. Um... Hit detection's okay. It's a little little wonky. I mean, you see, I'm I'm shooting right at the zombie there, and it seems like it's going around him. I don't know if they're just saying, oh, it's just the scatter from the shotgun, but I mean he's pretty close. I should be I should be nailing him. And those bodies are still burning. Still burning. Got some health here. Light some more corpses on fire. Now there's something over here. No, I guess not. Whoa! <laughs> now that's a blast. Um... Let me see on the mini map here. Okay, so it does it does show where there's some more targeted objectives. Looks like we're gonna come up here. So you cannot break the reload animation. So in other words, for the shotgun, um, as I'm putting rounds into the shotgun, there is no. Oh, I put in four rounds, so now I've got four shots. It has to complete its reload animation. Okay, let's pull the map back up. Can I zoom out of the map? No, I sure can't. But it looks like we're at the edge of the map up here, so we're, we're going to head this way. Now, again, I can rotate the camera to give me a different perspective. Here's another body we can, or another corpse we should we can burn. We've got eight of the fifteen so far. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is already getting kind of tedious. Um, just trying to find the corpses. There's not a lot going on. The zombies are very same same, at least in this first level. And. Uh, I mean, the environment is nice enough. It, it really is. Um, there's there's a fair amount of detail. It's not just like the same two buildings just spammed over and over and over. Um, they, they put a little time, effort, and um, attention into... Okay. So my character's aiming right at it. Uh, the problem is, is just that your character moves fairly slow... And it's it's all very same same, and I hate to say it, it's just sort of boring. There's not a real sense of tension. The weapon reloading is is more of an annoyance. I, I feel like really, than like a real oh man, 
tension's really high. It's more like, oh no, I gotta reload again. And we got something this way. And I'm already kind of over the combat. Um, I almost just want to sort of avoid the zombies. Like, I wish I could run faster than them. Uh, and the minimap really would need to be expanded for this to be a viable title. Um, to where you could see all the items on the map. Because now I'm back at the beginning. And now I'm sort of dreading having to go back out there and wander around more in the game. It's not doing itself any favors by uh, extending my time searching for these corpses to burn. Another thing um, with games like this, the combat should be... Okay, there we go. So, am I aiming at it now? There. So, I'm aiming at it. Can I vault this fence, please? Please, please? No, I can't. That stinks. Okay, now let's find out something here. This zombie just went right through here. You guys saw it. Okay, thank goodness I can too. So I burned all the corpses. Can I... There was two objectives. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's go to controls here real quick. Um, swap gun. Objectives is O. Find Reese. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now with this? I have to find some research evidence. And let me guess, it's probably not even lit up on the minimap. Oh, oh, I stand corrected. I apologize. And it's right over here in this bombed out compound looking area. Okay, seriously, where, where are you at, research? There it is. Okay, making my way now to the, uh, the pickup location, I guess. I'm... I'm following where the arrow says to go. There it is. Get away from me. And I did it. 105 kills, two money pickups, mission complete. Um, training options, credits... Okay, so there's no mission select screen, it looks like. I did not like that at all. Sniper, shotgun. I'll try the... Oh, I can't try the battle rifle. Drat. Let me just try the regular assault rifle they gave me. Did I not... Oh, I unlock him. And I didn't really mean to unlock him, but whatever. Um, so far, thumbs down. Sorry. Sorry, dev team. Sorry, uh, potential buyers. But, yeah, this is, um, I mean, the game, eliminate three robots, find the trace of three destroyed armored vehicles. Okay. Anything on my map lit up right away? Nope, nothing. All right. Um, it's too, it's too slow with not enough payoff. And what I mean by that is, if they made this a game where it's like, you know, you're moving through the streets, and I don't even know. I, I just, I feel like there there's, there might be a way that they could make this game work, but as it is right now, it, it does not work. So the zombies at least have turned up a notch, but my, my little buddy here is like, almost dead. Can I hurt him? I cannot, thank goodness. But it, it doesn't it doesn't matter because he's he's about to kick the bucket here. Um there's a there's another top-down game 
that looks a lot like this, and it's called Running with Rifles. And that game's a lot of fun to play. It's got a similar aesthetic to this. Oh, just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Come on. Come on. Uh, it's got a similar style as this, and it's it's action-packed, and, and it's a war that you're in, and um, this borrows heavily from that, that aesthetic, uh, but where that game is hectic, and um, there's a lot going on, and it keeps your interest, and there's a lot of, you can hide behind cover, and there's a lot of tactics that you can employ, um, this is mindless in all the wrong ways, unfortunately. So there's something over here. In a lot of ways, you're better off just leaving the zombies alone if you can. That's never a good sign when you're trying to avoid combat in a game. And here we go. About this truck here. Nope. Find the switch. Okay. I don't see a switch around anywhere. Are these guys. Well, guys, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this <laughs> for this video. Um, if if this looks like a title that's interesting to you, you kind of are getting what you see here. So at least you can kind of go in with eyes wide open. Um, again, I'm not I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's just the title is too. It's just boring. I'm sorry. I I know that sounds so mean, but it is very boring. It's dull. It's repetitive. It's painful. It's slow. They either needed to speed up the character, add more zombies into it and make your objective, make your map where you could zoom out and see everything, so you could be like, go, go, go. Um, and in so doing, you know, it, make it more of an action game, or they need to even slow the pace down more, make your shots count for more, have less, less ammunition, have where you're finding ammo in the game world, not just spawn the zombies at random, but have the zombies purposely placed in groups and stuff like that, where it's more of a, almost like an... A, a tactical shooter, but this middle ground just doesn't work. It's an arcade style that's boring, and it's just, it's unfortunate, and I and it's I hate to say it, but it's true. I like the game world, I like the aesthetics, but again, it's borrowing heavily from another game, uh, Running With Rifles, that is, does it better. Um, there's a lot more detail to that game, and there's a lot more variety of combat, and it's more intense. So I would give a pass on this one at this point. It's only 4 or $5, but I just say there's not enough here to really hold your attention and stand out against other titles that have done either similar but done it better, or there's other titles that are just use some of the same aesthetics uh, but present them in a better way. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and taking some time to watch this, this video, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Game on, everyone. Mm -hmm.